Hey everyone, and welcome back to Playcrastination Population 391, and welcome back to the next episode of Into the Breach. Today, guys, we're actually going to do what I said we were going to do yesterday, uh, which is shut our mouth and try to beat two levels, or three potentially, in the same episode. Uh, last episode didn't go great. We lost one power, which is not, I, I'm acting like it's a catastrophic failure, but really it's just kind of a part of the game. I'm going to have to get used to, especially with, you know, the starting off squad. There's no reason to think you should win your first time, but I like to try anyway. So we have to choose where we want to go to today. We can go for a rep and a power grid back. We can go for two rep and a power grid. High threat. Vec threat. High threat. Vec threat. High threat dis just terrifies me. Uh, but I would like to get this power back, so you know what, let's go to the Proving Grounds, we do have a Lightning Storm, we have to kill at least 7 enemies and protect the Coal Plant, um, let's go for it. Eh, one of our meteorological stations has reported Vec converging on the location, intercept them, but beware the weather, it rains lightning! Well, I don't think you understand how meteorology works, ma'am, but, uh, that's okay, okay, so, part of having these new areas is we've got these new enemies, for example, these are called Blast Scions. When they're alive, anytime you murder an enemy, they explode, which is really good to know because we would like to take it out as quickly as humanly possible. Um, Artillery Boy, I think you're fine back here, except I can't place you there, so instead we'll go here. I think we're fine with this setup. You're really close, so we gotta take this guy. Basically, as long as he stays in punching range, I'm happy. Which is what he theoretically should do. We're gonna find out. Mission start. Now show me what those mechs of yours can do. Uh, it's, wish that was the first time I've heard that. Okay. <clears throat> now I just worked out. Which means I'm both extremely exhausted. But I'm hoping in a way like... Well, also I was like breathing really heavily, so the lack of oxygen in my brain probably isn't gonna help me play this game, but we're gonna try nonetheless. Okay, so we have these lightning spots, and in fact, does lightning not go first? Lightning will strike four spaces every turn. I believe lightning attacks first. I believe that's why there's no number one. And these guys are very dumb because they have both stood on lightning. Which, if I'm not insane, I'm not insane? Should mean all I gotta do is focus on this guy. Uh, which can be done extremely easily. Now, here's what I wanna know. Here's my main thought. I'm gonna go here, launch a, a thing here, push you a little bit towards me. The tank can then get over here. I can punch you onto this tile. Uh, shoot you onto that tile, I should say, and then I can punch you into your own guy. Once again, your guy's gonna die no matter what. You'll have one HP left, but you're gonna block a spawn. But you will still attack me for two. Oh no, just one. I may be comfortable with that, but there may be a way to avoid that damage. Um, I mean, the answer to that would be don't punch him with the punchy mech. But I kind of want to get that extra damage off just to not have to deal with him. Because the, the spawning happens second. Um, so he would attack us first and then spawn. These guys, I believe, like I said, I think they just died to lightning strike. So I don't think we have to worry. So let's go ahead and, you know, let's start testing some stuff here. We're still learning. Push you, it's going to create some smoke, which means no attacking on this tile. Uh, at the very least, we definitely need to move you. And so actually, rather than tanking you, question, do you have like infinite range? Because if you don't have infinite range... Oh, that is a problem because you're going to charge way away. Oh, well then we have an easier solution. You come stand here. I'm going to punch you into your uh, over here. And when I shoot you into your own guy, you'll just die. We don't block the spawn, which is a bit unfortunate. And it, maybe it makes more sense. Like at the very least, we got to move this guy, obviously. So maybe it makes more. No, but then I'm going to push you and then you're going to attack the building because yes, you have infinite range. Um... Yeah, it unfortunately, like, because you're going to move off this spot anyway, so we're not going to block this, so I'd be blocking one. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably the best we're going to be able to do, so uh, instead we'll just kind of take a step back here, 
we'll go ahead and launch into you. You will die. You should move. You're still on the lightning strike. Fantastic. He exploded and I was nowhere near him. I completely forgot about the explosion, so that's not great. But we are not near this guy and we are not near this guy, so they should both die right now. Wait, action available? Oh, you still have one free move. I totally forgot about that. Um, hmm, I forgot about the free move. We probably could have done something over here and then after he died, stepped on the, the spawn. So we probably could have blocked a spawn, but um, uh, actually undo move. That moves you into the range of this exploding guy. And I don't know what order these guys are going to die in, so I think it's probably smarter to just uh, take a step back here. And then we will end our turn I think this should work. Raining lightning. Raining lightning. He is deceased. He is deceased. Would you look at that? We have two enemies to deal with on the next turn. That's a really good setup. Um, and more lightning, of course. So if we can get them into the lightning, it's preferred. Although it's not looking like it's really going to have that great an opportunity. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm seeing a couple things here. Obviously, these two have to get off lightning. I believe we can just, uh, I don't, I don't think you can swim, is what I'm trying to say. Not trying to be rude. I don't think you can swim. So I think we can very simply push you into the water, and I think you will die. Um, now what we can do with this guy is probably just murder him on this turn, if we're being totally honest. You shoot in a straight line, you're going to attack this building. Like, here's what I was thinking. We could bring this guy here. and punch you, you'll die to this spawn next turn and block it. Now, yes, I will take one, I'll take two damage in the process because I am both uh, blocking a spawn and um, doing some stuff. I think I just wanna stay put. I think I'm cool just staying put. And then you cannot quite get where I want you to. I would love for you to stand here and block this spawn, but I don't think you can. Um, so instead, what I'm gonna have you do... I mean, obviously we gotta get off this spot. Like, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, it probably makes more sense. I'm like, what's more valuable? Taking two damage, but blocking a spawn, or just murdering this guy, using the artillery, just pushing this guy into the water, if it even works, by the way. I don't actually know if it works. Um, we'll learn that ourselves. This turn probably could have been handled better if I would have brought the tank down here first, shot you, stood here, punched you, you die, and then moved onto the spawn. Um, but, you know, too little, too late. I mean, it's not too late. I can literally reset turn, but I don't know if it's actually worth it at this point, so... Instead, what I will do is murder you off the spawn. I'm going to move you here, and we're going to see if you die from water. If not, I may have to reset the turn. Hopefully, you just drown, though. You have drowned. That's perfect. We're going to have two more enemies spawning next turn, and we are not on any of the evil spaces. This guy can still move, but I'd, I'd prefer him to block the spawn. So you know what? I'm actually, um, I'm fine with this move. And so far, this has gone better than the last one. And we're already at set, uh, five out of seven enemies killed. And the coal plant, which I think is this, is has not even been near touched. Uh, so good situation. Although there's a lot of smoke on the field, kind of, kind of starting to bother me. Okay, got some more lightning bolts. You are n okay. Now you're causing, now you're causing some issues. See, we can't do that. <laughs> you don't understand. I cannot allow this. Two more turns to survive. So, potential moves. Stand here, punch this guy into this guy, he dies. Tank then can come here, boom, shoot you, so you're no longer, like we gotta get rid of you because you're attacking this thing. And this is my extra power uh, for protecting it. So I absolutely want to accomplish that goal. Um, we could also, a simpler move, perhaps, and one that doesn't require me taking damage, which I will do, uh, is just punching you into the lightning. Yeah, that makes significantly more sense, and then I can use my extra move after to come block another spawn. Uh, we'll be down to 1 HP, you know, a little scary, but I think it makes sense. Punch you onto this, 
and then move and block the spawn. You come over. Hmm. What order we want to do this in? I mean, I don't think it really matters that much. We can, either way, we're going to be able to murder this guy. We're not going to be able to block a second spawn, which is kind of a shame. But this guy is at least going to get pushed. And we can also just, like, stand back here and then shoot him and kill him. Um, and I think I'm fine with that. The, that guy's going to die to lightning strike. We're going to have two more enemies spawning next turn. But all we have to do is survive the next turn. And if I can't do that with only two enemies, then uh, I don't deserve to be playing this game. Because clear lack of skills. Lightning bolt coming down. Thank you so much for murdering that guy. XP has been split equally. Okay, we have another one of these Artillery Strike boys. All right, I'm down to one HP, a little frightening. Artillery Strike is going for me, and you're going for a building. Okay, so that's, um, I believe that's game. Like, I believe we just win. Because what I can do, obviously I can get, I mean, like, the simplest move is to just, I actually can't really push you very well. Buildings are protected, though. So, like, little egg could just go stand here, shoot it here, push you over. But, oh, we already, already killed seven enemies, so we don't even have to worry about killing another enemy. Um, here's what makes the most sense. Stand here. You shoot him into this. He's going to get lightning striked. Uh, oh, his attack is cleared, so when you attack him, it disrupts. Stand here. Except for the smoke is blocking you. And I can't attack you from anywhere else because the game. Okay. So instead of that, hold on. You are going to stand here. Like, I'd like to kill this guy because we can get some sweet experience. So what I can do is I can shoot the thing here, push you my way, and then I don't know if you can reach, though. I don't know if you can reach, though. Let's just... Oh, duh, we already have parsed this out. Let's just make this... Why am I making it so difficult? No damage. Shoot this. Pushed. Stand here. I'm not on a lightning strike. I mean, that one's gonna die anyway. Punch this guy. He has died. I get an extra move. It doesn't really matter. Safe, 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 safe. You are gonna die. That is the end of the turn, and that is a successful mission, if you ask me. We protected the coal plant. We killed eight... Oh, sorry. Nine enemies, if you count the lightning strike at the very end. And uh, we're gonna get one grid back. No vec on scanners. Good job, Rift Walkers. Man, these missions take a while. But like I said, we're gonna be doing two missions per episode. Never thought we'd dig the vec out wherever you're from. I hope there's more of you on the way. I'm sure you do, ma'am. Okay, success. Mmm, the hardened shale. The high, why are we gonna do the high threats, though? Destroy two mountains, kill seven enemies, protect emergency batteries, defend the prototype Rhinefield, Renfield bombs, protect the power generators, or vec threat detected. Defend the earth mover, take less than three grid damage. Seems significantly easier. I'm assuming this is the earth mover. I hope that it can move itself. <laughs> We're going to find out. Okay. We have a blast sign once again to start. Of course, why not? The nice thing here is we have a chasm, so maybe we can launch some of these guys into the chasm. Um, that'd be a good situation. IMHO. Earth mover, Nicholas Smith. <laughs> okay, so punchy boy, get as close as possible. Actually, swap you two. I want the tank to have a direct line of sight down this path. And then we'll put you here, because you're still pretty close. And then artillery, you can just come all the way back. And I think that's how I want to parse things out. Let's do this. Mom, look! You better freaking know you better look. Let's No, why have you created land, though? This is precisely the opposite of what I was planning to do. I was planning on using the land against them. Can you move? You do not move. You simply shake the earth. Let me hold control over you. Stable, cannot be moved by any weapon effect to push, teleport, etc. Turns nearby chasms into normal ground. Okay, so it's just stuck there. We are protecting a sitting duck. I'm gonna need a Dr. Pepper for this one. Diet, of course. Um, I really can't believe that you can't get down here, but okay. Like, I'm having an, an incredibly hard time 
coming to terms with the fact that you cannot get down here because if you could get over here I should have spawned him here if you could get here you could shoot this guy into this guy blast Sion taken care of so really we got to take out the blast Sion first or at least um make sure that it doesn't wreak havoc on my my, my moonies so we can obviously stand here punch here do two damage to you one to you but then i still can't do anything with this and i can't shoot you because you'll get plopped into this so i need the artillery to take care of you the question is okay so what's the distance on my tanks move what, what is your move you can move four. So you can move one, two, three, four, shoot you, get you out of the way. Um, I like that. How far do you shoot? Do you shoot infinitely in front of you? He charges. This is a chargey boy. We got to learn about the chargey boys. I don't know how I haven't learned about the chargey boys yet. Uh, cover band of the beastie boys. Another thing we could do is just shoot. And in fact, I prefer this move. Um, shoot at the earth mover which should do no damage because we have buildings protected unless you don't count as a building you don't count as a building okay it's gonna say we could push you onto the spawn you take damage next turn block a spawn that'd be just peachy that would be just peachy um i can't just go here and shoot this building and push this guy here because he charges so that won't really help me so it's looking like we're probably not gonna be able to block any spawns next turn which is a bit of a pickle, I must say. A little bit of a big old pickle. And the other issue is, I can't murder this guy. Like, I think the... I, I, maybe you see my conundrum here. It's kind of like, uh, there's a no, uh, it's a lose-lose scenario. If I, I need to get rid of this guy, but I can't get to any position to hit him where he doesn't get launched into this thing. Although it'll only take one damage, so really it's just defend the earth movement. I think means don't let it get destroyed. So it can take a damage, it just can't take two damage. So like, we could kill this thing by sacrificing a damage onto this. <clears throat> Which we may. <laughs> just letting you know we may. Um... If I could get over here and shoot you into this, it'd be there's just a dream. The problem is the only guy who can actually get to this guy is the artillery. So I can't shoot you with artillery either. <laughs> like artillery can obviously come here, shoot you here, boom, push you over a little bit. You don't gotta worry about your life no more. But then that's safe, but then how, you gotta then you have to take out the beetle this turn because I can't move him any because this guy's blocking him. And even if I push him down this way, so I have to murder this guy this turn. But if I murder him before I kill the blast scion, he will explode, hurt the building, this thing, and me. It's a really bad scenario. This is real tight. So I think what we are probably going to have to do is let this thing take damage. One damage. Only one. That was only one. We have to let it take at least one damage. Man. Another theory, you could come here, shoot this guy, do one damage, push you out of the way, now you're charging over here, and maybe that would give us a line of sight, maybe this guy could get through somehow. Oh, I could just push you into the chasm. But then you still have the issue of getting to this guy. So either way, this thing is going to take damage. Um, the key is making sure it does not take two damage. Also, these things are going to explode. Hmm. 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 This is going to be a long one. <laughs> I can tell by the first move. Man, I would love if you could just move one extra tile down here. They, it would literally solve all of my woes. I punch you, it does three and one to you. Oh, hold on. Let's try this. Punch you into you, does some good damage. Shoot you. I'm going to take a damage, but technically the blast lion should die first and this should not explode. He's going to explode into me and that's going to make me take damage. I understand that, but that should give this guy a line of sight to get down here. Hold on. Let's see. He did not explode. And now you, you can't reach where I need you to. So this thing is still going to end up taking damage, but I can block a spawn. 
I can't shoot anything though. And you have one extra move. You might as well get a little bit closer to the fray. Yeah, like I said, this thing's gonna take a damage. Which isn't going to cost a grid damage, but hopefully, def like, do you have more details here? What is defend? What is defend? What, tell me what defend is. Okay. Hopefully defend doesn't mean it can never take a hit. Hopefully defends means it just can take one hit. <laughs> I really thought with one extra move, you'd be able to, to shoot this boy. But you cannot, so I'm going to shoot my own guy. Just kidding, we'll end our turn. We'll take the one damage, two enemies on the next turn. We did not fail the objective. We did not fail the objective, and we're getting some more land to work with, which is honestly one of the best things that has ever happened to me. Oh, all of the spawns on the next turn, though. All of the spawns. All the spawnings. Okay. Several enemies gotta go. You're pretty simple. It's a punch. Mm, you're pretty simple. It's a shoot and an artillery strike, but we're not going to be able to block a single spawn next turn. And that's going to allow four enemies to spawn? With three turns left. But the thing is, I don't really know how else you do this <laughs> without letting enemies spawn. I don't really think there's a way. Like... If you stand on any of these, you have no line of sight on anything because this little thing right here is kind of a pain in the butt. It's kind of blocking all my shots. Can't shoot anything this way. Can't shoot anything this way. And there's nothing here. Now, there could be something there if I shot an artillery strike here. But why? When I could just punch it. Or I could punch this guy instead. I could punch this guy. Boom, he's dead. Artillery strike you down. Block a spawn and shoot you for one. But then you're still alive on the next turn and in other ways I can just murder both of you and not block a spawn. So either way we're gonna be dealing with four enemies on the next turn. The question is how do we wanna take care of them? And I'll lose an HP. Is it really worth it? Is it really? I am having trouble seeing how it is. I'm gonna go for it though, because I think it's the cutesy play, and sometimes you just gonna- Oh, but I'm gonna push myself into the- By doing this now, I'm going to push myself into... The mountain, which now causes two bits of- Oh wait, no, hold on. Uh, I actually get a bonus move, so... Uh, come down here... Yes. And now we can do this like I planned. Should be able to shoot you here. Boom, you get pushed. And then, bam, shoot you, but only does one. You're attacking nothing. You'll die next turn. And we got three more enemies spawning. It's going to take another damage. It's not terrible. It's not a terrible move. I'm okay with it. You're still alive. I'm fine with it. In the short term, I'm fine with it. Now, once I see these enemies come up, maybe, you know, maybe we get a different scenario. We get more earth. Okay. Wow, you guys really don't like that guy back there, huh? <sighs> Obviously, you cannot stand on this spawn anymore, and you're charging at me, which is just all around bad. I will die. <laughs> um, which I can't afford to die, if you're wondering. And I'm also not ready to die, so... Um, so we really don't have to worry about you because you're doing nothing. You are attacking a building. You are just launching an artillery strike at this guy. So again, you don't really matter either. And you have four HP. We have to, so essentially we gotta worry about you and you. You are the two biggest threats. I mean, easiest thing is to come up here and shoot you one, but then you're still alive next turn and we have two more enemies spawning. We can punch something. We can punch you for four. And you'll no longer be attacking this thing. I think that's for sure what we want to do. Like, just as starters, we definitely want to push you for two. And not have to worry about that anymore. And then we can, like, line up here, maybe. Shoot you for one. Come up here, shoot you, and you die. And then we'll have one. You'll charge into nothing. 
we're gonna have a lot of enemies on the next turn. That's all you need to know, and that's kind of scary. A kind of a scary thought. But it might just be necessary. We could also, I mean, there's no, this guy's attacking nothing, so we don't have to worry about it. I need to move this guy because this artillery boy is attacking me. We could shoot. We could also shoot down here, push you into you and do one damage to each of you, then move this guy and shoot this guy and he would live, but he would be pushed out of the way. And I'm not super worried about this guy, to be honest. Maybe I should be. The flying units are kind of scary. So, what would you rather kill? Artillery guy or flying guy? You know what? I stand in the face of fear. Let's freaking murder artillery guy. Murder artillery guy. A uh, bam bam. You have died. Then we come up here with you. Thank goodness you could reach. I didn't actually check beforehand. Shoot you into this. You're attacking a mountain. You're attacking a mountain. Um, you're attacking nothing. We're gonna have five enemies on the next turn. It'll be the final turn. You only have one HP left. Everybody else is fine though. A little scary. A little frightening. We may need to... Next turn is gonna be interesting. That's all I'll say. We'll see if we can get through it. No damage. Into the mountain. I'm really upset you didn't take damage yourself. Also upset you didn't uh, land on that spawn and block it for me. Okay, we have full land now. All right. Uh, that's You can't do that though. <laughs> so you quickly see some problems here. They're attacking everything I love. Now this guy, I believe if we attack him, his attack gets cancelled. Does three damage, but I believe if we attack him, his attack gets cancelled. So you're as simple as just getting some damage off on. You have one HP, so you're as simple as just shooting. You are a simple bam, shoot, you're done. You're attacking a power grid. That is not okay. That's pretty much all this guy can do because he doesn't have a ton of line of sights. With this guy, we can stand here. Oh, but if I launch one here, then this guy is gonna attack this, but then I could punch him. He will... I mean, I could punch him right now also and just stop him from shooting that. What's the attack order? You are like almost last, okay. That still leaves the trouble of this guy who's gonna launch a very powerful artillery strike, which I don't think the damage actually matters on these. You still just lose one power grid. Um, okay. It's the last turn, so obviously we wanna like I don't mind using a long, long time and using some reset turns. You, you literally can't do anything. Like, y you can shoot this guy so he's not attacking the building, because this guy's got to go too. But then you're going to take attack from this guy, so then I have to take care of him. We could move you, shoot this spot with this guy, then you're safe. Actually, what would make more sense there is moving you and then shooting. Yeah, you can reach here. Ah, I like that much better. You attack first. You only do one damage. Do you push? Do you push? Ooh, he pushes. But then you push this guy into this, and that's also very bad for me. Uh, except we could come here. I think this could work. What could work, you may be wondering? Artillery man comes here. Okay, uh, oh, th this guy just gotta move. Bottom line is he just gotta move and get safe. So he doesn't take a damage. Artillery man comes here, shoots one here. You get moved down here. You're now charging at beetle and you're no longer charging at, but you're still gonna live is the issue there. You're not gonna die. And then you're gonna still attack a building and I can't have you attack a building. So many issues. So many issues. This workout most definitely did not help my cognizant cog cognition. My cog I don't know what I'm saying. 
But anyway, what I was saying here is like, this guy will attack nothing then, and this guy will attack this guy, and not murder him, but you know, do a little bit of damage. I mean, we're gonna get both objectives, so it's like, are we okay losing a thing of grid power? Probably I'm making too big a deal about grid power, but I just like to be a perfectionist. So, like the two main goals are, as long as we don't get hit three times, <laughs> and as long as we don't uh, lose a mech, and as long as this thing doesn't die. Then we've met both of our bonus objectives, and we can be happy with it. If I push, now even if I put an artillery strike here, that, that really doesn't help the problem at all. If I put the artillery strike here, it helps your problem, but then you are a problem. And I can punch you, but then I still gotta deal with this guy who's gonna do a lot of damage, and you're still gonna attack this, and it's just, ah, it's all bad. It's all bad. This guy, if he could, this guy needs one more move. If he could just get here, that would alleviate so many woes. Alleviate all of them woes. But he can't, so instead we gotta go with the, the hand we've been dealt, which is trying to minimize... Nope, definitely don't do that yet. Hold on. You gotta move first. Man, dude, if you could just go anywhere, if you could go literally one more space in any direction, you would be my best friend. Like, literally here, just, mmm, I hate, I hate that you can't. I really hate that you can't, cannon mech. We'll do this move. I'm going to see the result of it, see if I'm okay with it. I believe the end result here should be that I only lose one building damage. Let's see attack order here. Yeah, because then I can I can come stand here, punch you, should cancel move. It didn't cancel your move, which is not not good. Thought it would cancel. Um, but then I can stand here, and then when you attack this guy, it'll push him into me. But it's only going to do two damage, and he's still going to attack this. And you, sir, just can't. You just can't. <laughs> I mean, I could shoot you into you and get you some experience, but, and I probably should actually, just for the, the sake of it, man. I, if there's a better move here, I apologize, guys, for not seeing it. But I think we're probably just gonna take, the one grid defense, unless it resists. We have a chance. Yeah, it's not quite gonna take you out. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Am I comfortable with this turn? I mean, the 32 minute video says I should be comfortable with this turn because it took me 30 minutes to do two freaking episodes. See, these episodes are getting longer, not shorter. <laughs> I'm going back to my old ways, which I always do. You attack nothing, you attack nothing, you attack this. One damage, one damage, you're still gonna shoot the building. And I don't think there's any way we avoid it otherwise, because otherwise, if we don't, like, if we punch this guy instead, we don't punch this guy and he shoots this, and then we can't do anything about him. <sighs> I, I, I hate leaving it knowing there could be a better turn out there. So I'm like tempted to reset turn to just look one more time, and then obviously we can just do everything once more. But I'm I'm strapped to see what else we can do. The the tank really just is bad. <laughs> Definitely at the bottom of the power rankings continually. I'm sorry, Nadia Lee, but you are just you're so low on the rankings. It just one more move. That's all I need from you. Or one extra damage or something. Something, something, something. I'm gonna reset turn. We have a free reset. May as well use one per battle. I'm gonna look at it for like 10 more seconds and I'm gonna see if I if there's anything that was escaping my grasp before. You just you just can't reach anywhere, man. If this guy wasn't here, you could. If this guy was not here, you totally could, but you cannot, and that's a big deal. Because like, if this guy wasn't here, you can go one, two, three, four, and then we're in business. I can just start shooting people willy-nilly. I don't even know anybody named Willy, but because you can't do that, and because these buildings were set up in, who freaking played the Sim City? Oh my god, I just went deaf in my left ear, hello? Hello? Yep, yeah, definitely can't hear out of that. Okay, I'll have to get that checked.
I just feel like there's no reason... Like, the artillery man's best turn has to be shooting right here, right? Because it gets this guy away from shooting this building, and it gets you away from attacking the drill. We could attack you and push you so that you're not attacking that, but that seems like a big old waste. Unless I move this mech here, push me into you, but then it's only going to do one damage to you. And then I, I can't move my mech after that. I'd have to punch, so that doesn't work. I was going to say, like, maybe I could... Can, that mech could theoretically block both shots. This mech could repair, tank both shots. <laughs> oh, but I get pushed into this, so that actually doesn't work. Never mind. And the pushing doesn't work because you do this. If I push, yeah, that's the best move. So, yeah, we're just going to unfortunately lose... One grid power. Probably probably a bigger deal than I'm making it out to be, but, uh, you know, I just like for things to go a little bit more swimmingly than they sometimes do. But, yeah, I think this is the best move we can possibly do. So let's go ahead and end turn. We tried our best. We're going to lose one grid power. And, um, yeah, it's not quite going to get the job done. You're going to attack your own guy. You shoot the building. Yeah, 111 casualties. Yeah, I feel real bad. I'm so sorry for that. But uh, I didn't see a better move. If you guys saw a better move, let me know. But uh, I didn't see one there. And you know what? At the end of the day, we, made, we met both of our objectives. So we got to be pretty happy about that. Anyway, that's going to be the end of that one. Next episode, we will have uh, one more level, I think, and then the boss battle. So get ready for like a two-hour episode. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Play Procrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Play Procrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we'd love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. You need this so bad. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.